Number 1. Exaggerated Excitement or Sadness These video titles will seem like an old infomercial, or something a bad car salesman would say. Breaking News Millions Feel Sad OMG Heartbreaking Wow Shocking Oh no Number 2 Clickbait Thumbnails with Misleading Titles here is the thumbnail. The video title is, Wow! Rainbow tried to test Luna's milk. Here is the real footage. These next few will target pet channels specifically. Number 3. Stage where they got the pet monkey. I'll show you two clips of people finding newborn monkeys, all dirty and alone. The first video is obvious. The second video you will notice the newborn baby trying to run to the person recording but they're so newborn, they can't run well. So all the VO has to do is take a few steps back and record the baby monkey cry. If this were real, they would try to run the opposite way. Notice the location the baby monkey is found and you will notice how fabricated it is. It's extremely rare for pigtailed macaques to give birth to twins, not to mention abandoning them both. No way, not buying it. Of course, have to pose them and that one is perfectly able to sleep with a stranger holding them. Number 4. Discipline. They love making thumbnails like this and the monkey ends up giving a facial expression in response. If this is how these pet owners treat them on camera, I don't want to think about what they do when off of it. Number 5. Disobedience and Obedience. These pet channels love to emphasize when one monkey is being bad, while another one is an innocent obedient one. When really, it's just a monkey actually being a monkey. Not the pretend baby doll and stay still while we have tea time party, like they're expecting. This woman wants them to get their own plate or they won't be allowed to eat. One poor monkey looks so confused.
Standing for long periods of time makes their legs sore. They don't have the skeletal structure as us humans. He doesn't know what she is saying either. He looks catatonic and confused. Poor thing must think they're supposed to stand. It's probably one of her regular disciplines. Number 6. Mom Monkey is Mean. I really cannot think of a sweeter monkey than Libby that constantly is perceived as mean. At least, as often as her. Most of the time, they like to paint the mom as mean when they are dietary weaning their babies. To a person uninformed, this may look aggressive, but it's actually beneficial in a lot of ways. Here is Monkey Mom Rose with baby Brady. Like Libby, she too must teach her baby, no. Weaning doesn't just teach them no, mom's milk yield isn't enough to feed a growing baby all day. If mom is hungry, she can't produce milk. This is a good time to wean because if mom is searching for food, the baby can learn what to eat. The babies would love to have nothing but milk all day but that wouldn't be helpful to their survival. This is tough love, not being mean. Number 7. Illness and Injuries This is a topic I and others discuss often. The VOs have cameras on these monkeys from dusk to dawn. When a monkey ends up with an injury or becomes sick with no footage from any of the plentiful VOs posting the same content, then it's best to be skeptical and watch for patterns. A true occurrence should happen once or once in a blue moon depending on the, the situation. But if something keeps reoccurring, no footage is taken, and symptoms and injuries don't add up from what you've been told, be skeptical. Number 8. How much, or how little they've had to eat. You will see this a lot. When they exaggerate how hungry a baby monkey must be and of course, mom is mean. Or when a monkey steals another's food. They'll also feed the monkeys they film the most often, than the other ones. You can tell because they'll be the ones on the chubbier side. Often, there's not enough food for all. In my opinion, I would much rather them being able to fend for themselves, but when you take abandoned pet monkeys who lack the skills to forage, feeding them kind of becomes necessary, in this situation. 
Lately, a lot of monkeys in a savanna troop look underweight. I guess they can't afford to feed them feast two times a day like they've told us. But if you think they can't afford to buy fruit, then that brings me to number nine. Number nine. Donations. Let's look at the ring leader Casal. He's the VO that makes the most money from YouTube and donations by filming the Savannah troupe, and who knows maybe by other methods. When a monkey is injured he'll ask for some financial help for medicine. Let's just say, one US dollar goes a long way in a poor country. One dollar would probably get him all the medicine he needs to play doctor. But let's look at his Facebook. Looking at this you would actually not realize he's living in a poor communist country. In fact, according to these pictures, he's eating and drinking real well. Feeling the effects of that Cambodia economy, is he? This is a man struggling to get by and can't find work? He can't afford antibacterial spray or fruit, right? Number 10. Manipulative Scenarios. This is another topic I and others talk about often. Something will cause these monkeys to worry. But what the titles of these videos say usually are not related to what's actually happening. This video said Dawn and Rainbow talk too much and maybe they want fruit. But pay attention to the background noise, you might need headphones. Something seems to be making Rainbow and Dawn nervous. <laughs> Lastly, they said Libby was afraid of Katrina but take a look at what she's really afraid of. Please make sure to report any misleading content to YouTube.